Modern brewers face numerous challenges in their quest to deliver a consistent, high product quality and at the same time expand their capacity. Some of them have found a superior solution. På de lidt stærkere øltyper, så ser vi faktisk op til en 40% hurtigere nedgæring end, end vi havde tidligere. There is energy savings and there is time savings. And you have a more precise product because you can follow it very keen in the process. The ISO mix system is based on a rotary jet mixer that circulates the liquid via an external loop. The patented design uses jets rotating around two axes and produces an outstanding mixing effect that thoroughly reaches all contents of the tank. Additives in liquid, gas or powder form can be added into the ISO mix loop and mixed into the content of the tank efficiently and consistently. When installed in fermentation vessels, the ISO mix system makes sure yeast is maintained in the desired state of suspension at all times. This ensures the best possible contact between extract and yeast. The controlled movement within the tank prevents early sedimentation of the yeast in the cone of the vessel, and any supersaturated CO2 is nucleated by the mixer. This, in turn, reduces process time and minimizes stress on yeast cultures. The proven fact. Let's talk with some of the first brewmasters who took active part in the development of the ISOMIX technology for fermentation and gained advantages. Carlsberg in Fredericia, Denmark, has an annual production of more than 3.5 million hectoliters of beer. In 2006, they were offered the opportunity to join the team that developed the ISO mix system for fermentation. The brewmaster took the chance and it paid off. We tried it here a little. We have some uh, equipment we built together and uh, tried it in some evenings to see what happens uh, when, when we ferment on this process and found that uh, there was really some benefits by that. So that was the, the first beginning of that. And what were the benefits? Actually, we benefit a shorter process time, the possibility to control the pro process much more specific because we could change the temperature. And we have the, the yeast by the fermenting process moved by a pump, so we all the time have a homogeneous uh, suspension of yeast in the beer. That's important because by that you can much more sure secure the process and you can also control the degree of fermentation much better because you can flash cool the beer when you have reached where you want to come. Today, a number of their large fermenting tanks have been equipped with the ISOMIX system. And the production manager is very satisfied. It is an uncomplicated system and it's very reliable. We are capable to produce nearly all kinds of beer on this system. And we even use it for producing of cider and so on. This is saving time in the process. It is possible to reduce the fermenting times with somewhere between one and two days. That's our experience. That will normally be somewhere between 10 and 20% of the total fermenting time. And we also see that the point uh, where diacetyl is coming low is coming faster than in a normal fer fermenting process. So shorting the process is possible by this. At Carlsberg, they have also inserted a heat exchanger in the ISO mix loop. By this way of cooling the tanks, you don't have those losses you normally will have on, on cooling jackets on the tanks. So less cost for cooling. You can say your cooling process is much shorter. We are capable to cool in 12 hours down. Normally will be 24 to, to 36 hours. We really could save energy by having a simple cooling process and uh, also having a very fast cooling. It is possible to have a more precise degree of fermentation also because you can, you can stop the fermentation by flash cooling the beer when you want it. Were there any worries about introducing a completely new mixing technology? That was also one of our concerns that we should stress the yeast by this process and even maybe see some destruction of, of yeast cells and so on. But until now we haven't seen anything of that. 
That's also a possibility that you can add in your stabilizer into the fermenter through this isomix loop and have it mixed into the tank through some hours before you harvest it out. And that is a good benefit if this is the way of stabilizing the beer. We use the same equipment also to clean the tank and uh, the heat exchanger. And what about beer quality? The name Carlsberg can take any discussion over quality. The customer wants the same taste everywhere and every time. Today we are capable to secure the quality even better than in an old-fashioned fermenting process because uh, we are capable to change temperatures and also follow very keen the process by sample taking and so in the loops. It is improving, I'll say. The system has been tried around some Carlsberg breweries and even now we are rebuilding Northampton in UK with this system. So it is starting spreading over Carlsberg. Producing beer is something you never reach a point where you can say now you know how to do everything here. There's always new thing coming in. Around 3 million hectolitres of soft drinks and beer are produced annually at Royal Unibrew in Faxa, Denmark. Here they've seen incredible time savings, up to 40% in the fermentation of stronger beer types. But that must affect the quality, or? No, tværtimod bliver det nok bedre, bedre kvalitet i og med at vi har en ensartet gæring fra gang til gang. Er sideeffekten egentlig, at den mikrobiologiske kvalitet bliver, bliver forbedret. After performing a series of trials, Royal Unibrew installed the isomix system in their six largest 5,000 hectoliter fermentation vessels in 2008. Så kunne man anvende isomixen til at røre rundt i øl under gæring og dermed sikre en, en forbedret, forbedret udgæring og en hurtigere udgæring. Vi vil gerne opnå en mere effektiv gæring. Desuden er øl gæret helt ud, som vi ønsker, det skal gæres ud. Og, og selve variationen mellem de enkelte bryg er Er meget lig, eller meget lavere. The results were impressive and affected the rest of the production chain, a valuable improvement considering they produce 20 different beer types. Den forbedring vi har på de 40%, den gør i virkeligheden at vi kan meget mere eller meget tættere følge planlægningen i taberiet, så ledes at vi kan meget bedre forudsige hvornår vi skal brygge. But there are other successful ISO mix applications at Faxa. Here, they have also equipped eight yeast storage tanks with the rotary jet mixers as the first brewery in the world to use isomix for this purpose. Og vi ser faktisk, at vi altid har gode mikrobiologiske resultater i vores gæringsopbevaringstanke. Jamen, det er vigtigt, at vi får en homogen masse, så vi er sikre på, at vi doserer den rigtige gærmængde. Og øh, i og med, at vi anvender isomix, så er vi sikre på, at vi har en, en homogen masse. A homogenous yeast slurry for pitching and a higher sanitary level is of course very positive. But they're not stopping there. Det vi skal i gang med nu, det er egentlig faktisk at se om vi kan videreudvikle og, og se om vi kan få endnu mere ud af det end, end, end det vi faktisk kører med i øjeblikket. Så vi skulle gerne ind og få lavet nogle optimeringer på, på den her proces. Tingene udvikler sig hele tiden, og der er altid nogle forbedringer man kan lave. Hvis vi en dag skal have behov for yderligere at udvide vores gæringskapacitet, jamen det første step, vi vil lave, det er at installere isomix i vores resterende gæringstegnlige. The brewery business seems to be a very competitive business. Ja, absolut. Det drejer sig om hele tiden at finde nogle forbedringer. I think we will see the year to come, uh, that quite a lot of the breweries will, will rebuild with this system. Isomix, rotary jet technology, from Alpha Laval.